Hello my classy people, Wayne Bolden here at the Speaking Channel. It is Wednesday, it's hump day. And again, uh, my prayers are out to my grandson, uh, Carter. Um, again, he's battling a little R RV, RSV, or that respirator thing. And so again, uh, please uh, send your prayers out for that young man. Um, he's the young man back over in my corner over here with that big pretty smile he has. So again, you know, that's really what life's about, right? Uh, but again, so we're, 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 we're pulling for him. We're praying for him. He's doing okay, okay? But again, I'm always a little concerned. As always, turn your closed captions on. Tip sheets are available for the all stakes tip sheets. They're 15 bucks. Email me at speaking24 at yahoo.com or you can text us at our uh, studio number 732-804-0637. Well, Gulfstream obviously is the Pegasus this weekend. And race number 10 is the Hooper Stakes Grade 3. That's right. And uh, it's one flat mile for 150000 for four-year-olds and up. And it's a full field of 13. And I absolutely have no idea what to do in race number 10. All of these races at Gulfstream this weekend are really a better's dream, right, as horse players. We always complain about there's only two horses that everybody's got to beat. These fields are deep. They're strong. You can go a lot of different ways, right? So, and a 10th race to Hooper Stakes Grade 3 is no different. So, you know, I'm, I handicapped it. I just, I don't know what to do. But, again, I'm going to land on the 12 horse. And you know I don't like horses in the 12 post. But, again, it's prevalence. Ten starts, four wins. Brendan Walsh, and you know it's Godolphin. There he goes again with that silky blue. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to bet against Godolphin. Well, prevalence, the number... Uh, 12 horses, 4 wins from 12 starts by Medaglia Dora, who was trained by the late, great, my favorite trainer of all time, Bobby Franco. And on the back end, grandsire, Ghost Zapper, the greatest horse that's ever ran around the racetrack. Well, prevalence, I'm telling you, comes out of the Mr. Prospector Grade 3 on December 31st, uh, New Year's Eve, ran 7th by 10th. Don't be writing home about that. Was beaten by Dean Deliverance, who was in here. The horse was 7-2. I had the smooth, smooth Tyler Gaffley on up. He's returning again on top of him. And I expect a better finish today, right? Again, I hate the post. I hate the post on prevalence. But again, I, you know, we're going to give him a swirl here. It's all or nothing or nothing at all. Four wins, ten starts. No seconds, no thirds. So he either wins or he loses. That's going to be my top pick in here. Prevalence, the number 12 horse in the 10th race. And again, we have a real problem in here. Uh, the number one horse is Miles D, right? And here we go again with the Chad Brown and the long, long, long layoffs. Now... Bobby Franco, again, used to do it all the time. And again, he is my favorite trainer. But I, God, this horse hasn't run Miles D, the number one, for 343 days, right? Man, that's tough to take off the bench, particularly at a short price, 5 to 2, 7 to 2, 4 to 1, 5. I mean, that's just tough. But that being said, we know that Chad gets them ready. Just like Bobby Frankel did. So I'm going to go ahead and make Miles D my second pick. He's a five-year-old with three wins out of seven starts, one second and two-thirds for 360000 You got the smooth, smooth Joel Rosario, the genius, is in the yards. And it's Chad Brown. So my second pick will be the number one here, reluctantly. But I'm not that dumb either. Chad Brown knows what he's doing, and this horse has not run but one race in over 400 days. But again, he gets these horses right, and, you know, I just hate to take a short break or a short price on a horse that, uh, you know, that's been away for 400 days. But that being said, I'm playing defensively. I'm going to use Miles D, the number one horse, the long, long way off as my second pick. Well, my third pick, well, you don't have to look far. The number three horse to me, well, Mish, 
Well, Mish has four wins from uh, 15 stars, three seconds and two thirds. It is Safi Joseph. You got uh, Z uh, Zazus in the arms. The horse is by Phil Commission. Comes out of an allowance race. I don't even know if that's good enough, right? But I'm going to give Mish our third pick here for sure. He's going to have to pick him up and lay him down. There's some really nice horses in here. And, um, I mean, from a handicapping standpoint, I'm just be baffled and be buffled, right? I am, you know. So I'm not strong about any of these, but Mish will be our third pick for sure in here. And our fourth pick, well, I don't know how far you're going to have to look around. I mean, there's quite a few of them in here uh, that I, you know, have a weakness for. But none more than the Reds, right? It is another Safi Joseph horse. The Reds is an allowance horse. He likes to lay it down late. And again, I'm not overly crazy about the horse. He's the number 10. He's outside again. He's probably going to lose ground. Comes out of an allowance race. I don't even know if that's good enough. Ran four by three quarters to Farmington Road some 78 days ago, making a five-year-old debut. I'll make Reds our third pick in here for sure. And again, if I had to make a, a super factor pick in here, Man, I just don't know what to do here. I tell you, I guess it would be Black Belt, right? Black Belt is a very, very nice horse. Uh, Black Belt is the number 10 horse, in, uh, the number 6 horse in here. Um, five wins from 13 starts. It is Peter, Peter Waldron. I probably should have this horse higher than I have him as my fourth pick. Because Peter Waldron, I mean, he only puts his horses on the racetrack when they run. And if you know what I know, even though he only is clicking at 16%, the horses by not this time. But I love Peter Waldron. He, he does sound, sound work. So my fourth pick will be uh, Peter Waldron's horse. So, <laughs> in the 10th race, the Hooper Stakes, I'm going to lean towards the number 12 horse. That's right. Uh, it is Prevalence, right? I like Prevalence, one, because it is Godolphin, two. I got Tyler Gaffney on up. I think that's okay uh, for sure. Uh, so, the number uh, 12 horse, um, you know, Prevalence will be our top pick. Our second pick is more of a defensive pick. Just afraid of Chad Brown and the beautiful work that he does. The number one, Miles D, who's been tangled with some top, top horses. My only question surrounding Miles D, obviously, is the time off. But that being said, there's no way I'm going to be willing to leave him off my ticket because I would just be too defensive as we're running saying, how did I put him in? Because it's Chad Brown and I know he worked for one of my favorite trainers or my favorite trainers of all time, Bobby Franco. So Miles D, the number one, is our second pick. And um, our um, uh, third pick uh, will be the Reds, uh, Safi Joseph doing the training. And we're going to round it out with the number six horse, Black Belt. So for us, it's 12, 1, 10, 6 in this year's Hooper Stakes. Again, you're just speaking. I'm just, I, I don't know which way to go in here. Um, because the Phil's two Golf Dream Park's credit and the racing secretary, the fields are deep, they're evenly matched. You can go in a field of 13, like the Hoopers, it's 13 horses. You can literally make a case for nine or ten of these horses, and no one can argue it. So we're again, we're going to take prevalence to number 12. One, it's my people, Godolphin breeders and owners. We're going to roll back with the number one horse as our second pick, Miles D. And our third pick will be the 10 horse for sure, which is the Reds. And we'll round out our super with, of course, Black Belt. So for us, it's 10, 12, 10, 12, 1, 10, 6 in that order. We like prevalence on top. That's going to be our top pick. 12, 10, 1, 6. Uh, race number 10 on Saturday. Tough, tough race. Make sure you're getting your price for sure. I'm going to just box up my 12, 1, 10, 6. And hopefully we can cash a baby exacta or something for sure. Stay classy, folks. Thanks for everything. Tip sheet speaking 24 at yahoo.com.
talk to you real soon.